Well, three lives cut short, one big push to honor them. We first told you about Hallie Cross, Michaela Bowling, and Lily Dufresne in November. That's when a suspected drunk driver hit the Nichols State students in Lafouche Parish. That's right now in the story you'll only on six. The loved ones closest to them hope to continue what the young women left behind. WDSU's Harrison Golden in Hanville with how they're doing just that. Harrison. Well, before Haley, Michaela and Lily went to Nichols State, this is where they graduated, Hanville High School last spring. They all wanted to go into the healthcare field together, and now in their absence, the friends and family they left behind are continuing their dream. She has a really big heart. Uh, if you were to matter, you know what I mean. Kenneth Bowling wishes more people could have met his daughter, Michaela. For her to pass this way is seems unfair, um, but we're doing our best to get through it. Michaela studied nursing at Nichols State. So did Lily Dufresne. Haley Koss wanted to be a healthcare professional too, until that November night took them away. It's been really hard being now an only child and not having my little sister here. So Haley's sister, Madeline Koss, and a friend had an idea. I have to help. I have to help get this and make this become a reality. A scholarship. It would give up to $1,000 a year to female Hanville High grads who study either nursing or allied health at Nichols. In short, it's a push to fill the path Haley, Lily, and Michaela left behind. This type of scholarship really can have an impact to many people for generations. The main thing that I want to just highlight is how loved they were and, um, you know, the efforts of you know, their friends, I think, speaks a lot about the future. We need nurses. And so if we could help uh, a young student become a nurse, I think that's a, a very, very good thing. The scholarship is still in its fundraising stage, but the head of the Nichols Foundation reports a pretty good start with hopes to help its first set of aspiring nurses in fall 2023. Even though they didn't get to live a full life, this will always be a way that people know these girls made an impact on people. My daughter's name will live on, and, and which is very important to us because she's always wanted to help. And by the way, that's not the only mission these families have been on. Michaela's dad tells me he's been speaking with and working with Mothers Against Drunk Driving, giving speeches and sharing his story, hoping to discourage others from driving while impaired. For now, we are in St. Charles Parish. Harrison Golden, WDSU News. All right, Harrison, thank you so much.